Hey, 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 how are you? This week I'm gonna tell you all about all of the foundations pharmacy has because here's the thing is, I kinda of stick to the same ones over and over, but if I'm being honest, I really love them all. The BB cream is amazing. The CC cream is awesome. The Stay Matte is literally perfect. The VFX has a photo filter finish and you can kind of mix and match them if you want. So first up on the lineup is the BB cream. You guys, it's $15.90. I'm going to put it on with the Kabuki brush that is $8.90. This is affordable and that's what I love about it is that I can feel confident. I can get my skin kind of even out because right now I've done my brows. I did my face sculpting palette just for some light eyeshadow and then I want to put on a little bit of foundation just because my skin is a little blotchy, a little red. You can kind of see the age spots, kind of the sun spots a little bit. And here's the deal with this is it can kind of double as um, skincare if you're not great at that step. Okay, so I've already put on my moisturizer and my primer. I had set all of that with setting spray and then I do my foundation. But if you just want the quick, quick look, you cannot find me on TikTok. Oh, it's just Nicole Kistner, so super easy peasy. Um, if you go to the link tree in my bio though, um, all of my social media sites are on there, so you can just find the one that says TikTok, click on it, and it'll take you to my TikTok, as well as Facebook or Instagram. I am still actually um, in um, Facebook jail on, for, I think, yesterday I looked and it was like 14 more days, so that's kind of crazy, but yeah, so. Here's this brush and here's this. It's super simple. You can put this directly on your face if you want or you can just put it on your brush. Um, what I found with this brush is that it soaks in a whole lot less than my other brushes. So the other day when I tried it for the first time, I had way too much foundation. Um, I think that I was just used to um, a little bit um, soaking into the, the products that I was using, the blending butter, the other brushes. Um, but this is going to be a light coverage, okay? So they say light, um, and, and I say that for, you know, um, advertising purposes, but you guys, I can really get this to be a medium coverage because here's the thing is it's really lightweight and it's really buildable. Um, if I want to really get a, a lot more coverage, I can get a little bit more on this brush once I kind of blend all this in. Um, but you can see it's already kind of even and everything out. So with the light coverage though, maybe it's not gonna cover like all of that age spot, right? But if you watch here in a second, I can definitely get it. I have my window open. Can you guys hear the traffic outside? It's like we live in a quiet town on a really dull street and um, it's a lot. Okay, so you can see where I definitely need more foundation up there, but I didn't wanna start with too much because the other day was literally a disaster. I can't even tell you. Let's, oh, it came back on. Um, is the house my connection? Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more on my cheeks, a little bit over here with that, but I'm gonna focus up here because I felt like it definitely needed a little bit more coverage on my forehead because it was very red. I try not to get too far up into my hairline because then it seems to color my hair and then I look like I have foundation in my hair, but it's fine. Okay, so with this, um, you, could, you could stop here. You know what I mean? You can just put your foundation on and you can go. Um, I'm gonna put on some under eye concealer. I did not sleep well last night. It was very hot in my house. Um, I was shocked that Kyle didn't close all the windows and turn the AC on. Um, so I feel like my under eyes are a little dark and a little tired. The BB cream definitely covers really well. Make sure you blend it on your neck, okay? And there you go. That coverage alone is seriously the bomb, right? I mean, I'm gonna add a little bit more as far as um, some contour, all of those things, but super simple, easy steps, right? Um, I have my concealer that is almost out, you guys. Here's what's funny is I ordered a backup one, so when this one runs out, you guys, I already had one. This is like a product that I don't wanna run out of because I really, really like it. It's a full coverage concealer. So today I used it on my eyes, and then I, I'm also gonna use it on my face, like a so. And I love it because it blends really easy. Um, it still feels really lightweight under my eyes. It doesn't, um, it doesn't seem to crease or do anything crazy. This is the new um, concealer brush. And I've never, uh, concealer brushes for me were for application and not for blending. But this one is really soft and full. So it really blends really well. And you can kind of press it in close. 
You can kind of buff out the edges with it, which I really like a lot. Um, it just looks really, really good on the skin with the brush. So I'm actually pretty impressed with it because I'm not really a concealer brush kind of person. But yeah, so uh, this is these are the steps that I use. Um, these ones from Pharmacy are actually really good. The other brush sets from Pharmacy I felt like were a little overpriced. Um, Jamie, I will get with you. Um, just message me and remind me so I don't forget after the video when I'm trying to finish up everything and get out the door. Um, because this one is $8.90 for the Kabuki brush. This one was, what did I say? This one's $8.90 for the concealer buffer. There is a set from Amazon that looks like this. Um, it doesn't have the concealer brush, but it, the Kabuki brushes are super, super amazing. The whole set is like $7.99. It comes with face and eye brushes. The eye brushes I don't love necessarily for um, eyes. Um, I really love the ColourPop. Some of the Morphe, they're hit or miss. ColourPop is definitely my favorite. It's usually sold out whenever I go to try to share that link with people, but it's really, really great. So I really love the under eye concealer. And then for a little bit of contour, I'm digging this stick. I was scared of here. I'm going to do the nose just from the edge up. And then I do like to bring it around on the bottom. Uh, it just, I don't know, it just looks good. I like it. Breaking up, I think I need this too. <laughs> you need all the things. Um, here's what I love about it is it's just so simple, right? And then like that contour stick, I think it's like $13.90 or $14.90. I can't remember which, but super affordable because it's going to last me, I feel like, a long time because I don't use a ton. I barely rub it on there. Um, you can do water on your blending bud. This is just easy for me at my makeup table. Um, and it doesn't take the product usually a ton off. But it's super simple and super easy to just blend out. Okay, there we go. Let me make sure I got it. Okay. And then if I want just like a tad more color, I can just kind of put it in that face sculpting palette just to kind of bronze up just a little bit over that contour. Only because sometimes right now our foundations are a little light coming out of winter when we're starting to get outside, get that little bit of tan. Okay. So for me, um, my skin is generally oily. Skincare has helped it so much. So I don't even know that I can really say that I'm super oily anymore, but I do like to set it with powder. My favorite are these BB powders. It only comes in these two shades, which I think is kind of weird, but they seem to work, okay? So this is the darker color, which isn't dark. It's a number two, it's a medium color. Um, I like to blend all of that and set this. And this is a BB powder, okay? So I love the BB cream with the BB powder because it is a soft focus powder. So for whatever reason, it has some kind of magic sorcery in it that makes you look very soft, um, which I really love because right now, yesterday I noticed it in my foundation, I can see the hair right now. Um, so I really need to take those razors, I need to shave, I need to do the dermaplaning, all the things. Um, but I feel like this powder just kind of softens it all to where I don't see it as much, okay? So then they have a number one powder. Mine's about gone, but I thought I had another one. I gotta look before I just keep ordering stuff. I set my under eye concealer with this one just to kind of brighten up that under eye. You see how it just kind of brightened it up just a little bit. The concealer really conceals and does brighten, but the powder just kind of sets it all anywhere that you put that concealer. And then literally, if you wanna throw some blush on, some highlight on, you can, don't have to. Um, I usually do only because I'm kind of bougie, um, but this right now I'm loving a pink. This one was a limited edition Valentine's color. Oh, but I love it so much. And I just add that right over top of that bronzer and it is so pretty, so pretty. Okay, so then you have your blush on and then I can put a little bit of highlight, although the BB cream adds that little bit of glow anyways. Um, but if you want a little extra, I love this terracotta highlight powder. And I just kind of swatch it right there and around that corner of my eye. And it just kind of accents your cheekbones and it's so pretty, okay? 
So I feel like I did kind of a light makeup look today, so I want a bold lip, right? And right now I am obsessed with this product. Um, it is a VFX Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick, but it's super long wearing, doesn't dry out my lips, doesn't do anything crazy, which I can appreciate a lot. Um, because I don't want it smearing or running and I don't have to necessarily use a liner with it. I can if I want, but I don't have to. I do take it all off and then you can kind of see that wand where it thins at the end and then has that doe foot. So it really just applies well. Um, this was a limited edition item. They've brought it back twice. And it has sold out each time. They brought it out in eight colors um, and all eight sell out within so quick. The first one I think was like 50 minutes. The next one was like an hour. But it's this color, like I feel like we don't have this color in another lip, in another lipstick, not even one that doesn't last that long. And I feel like it really, really lasts. So I hope everybody had a really great Easter. Mine is always so fun because here's the thing, when I married Kyle, nothing about my family traditions changed because I always spent Easter with my best friend's family and then I married my best friend's cousin. So we still get to spend it with them, but look at that color. It's so pretty, I love it. I love that bold, very, oh, it's so pretty. It came in some really fun pinks that I'm kind of excited to wear this summer. Um, there is something on my table. Oh, heel. It's like I've dumped oil or something. I don't know. Maybe I got to stand the lipsticks up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. There's like my table's all wet and sticky. I don't know what that is, though, because it looks clear. It's clear. I don't know what that is. I've dumped something at some point, but... So there's today's look, super simple, super easy, um, but focusing on that BB cream today. So I'm gonna show you the other foundations all week long. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'm using the light to medium shade, um, and I use the light to medium shade. I could definitely go, I could probably honestly use any of the colors. I really like this one because it's a smidge light for me, but then when I add in my contour and my bronzer, I don't get too dark, right? Sometimes as your days goes on, foundations will kind of oxidize and get a little darker. This does not seem to do that, but if I add in a darker foundation that really matches everywhere else, I feel like um, once I add that contour and bronzer, it just makes everything look too dark, okay? So sometimes a little bit lighter on foundation is a good thing, but it's only $15.90. I absolutely love it. The coverage is really great for a light coverage. This is supposed, most BB creams are like a tinted moisturizer. Um, this one is not that. I call this one a foundation and not a tinted moisturizer. I got one in, I, I can't remember what, Pure Fit or something like that um, in my BoxyCharm. I tried it. It was literally the worst, you guys. Literally the worst. It had no coverage. It was super oily and just like made me so shiny. I hated it. Um, I tried to wear it one day. It was literally awful. I had to end up taking it off. I gave it to my daughter because I was just like, no way can I pull this product off. Um, I need more coverage. This is it, right? Because it still feels really lightweight. It has some natural sun blockers, so not SPF, but I'm gonna say I've never gotten my face sunburnt in this. I can sunburn everywhere else, but on my face, it just doesn't because it has those natural sun blockers in it. So um, I can really appreciate that. And it's a beauty balm, so it kind of doubles as a skincare product because it's really hydrating to your face. But again, I'm oily and it doesn't make me oily or shiny, not even by the end of the day. It's literally incredible. I love it. Um, I think that you need it. Message me if you want color match. 
And tomorrow I am going to show you either the CC cream or the stay matte. I can't decide. Maybe the CC cream tomorrow so that we can kind of see the difference of the two. This is supposed to be a lighter coverage where the CC is a little bit heavier. Um, still not heavy, heavier than this and a little bit fuller coverage than this. Um, and it is a color control. So it really can help with my blotchy redness. It helps with yellow. It helps with dark circles under your eyes or your eyelids. My eyelids tend to sometimes be a little dark. Um, so that CC cream really helps um, create a neutral base for my eyeshadows, which again, I can really appreciate. So. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. Um, I'm really enjoying being here on Instagram. I'm enjoying it a little bit more than when I first started. Um, I'm about halfway through my Facebook um, jail time. And I'm going to try to stay on here after that because I have really, really enjoyed it. Um, we're trying to make some big decisions about the camper. Um, because we are getting a little bit of cold feet on going to the place that we had originally... Um, signed up for for the whole summer um, because there's no Wi-Fi there um, and I'm, I just don't know how that will work with Dryden and then homeschooling in the fall because we, we our job there is through November, the beginning of November and so with school I'm just, I don't know, stay tuned for all of that update. Um, we talked to Dryden last night to see about kind of his thoughts and everything and um, we're just trying to make some decisions and in the meantime I'm just trying to give some women some confidence and let them feel beautiful and just kind of change their smile because I know that's what it does for me. Um, it's just the little things, right? Um, like a $15.90 foundation. I love this stick. I can't remember if it's $13 or $14.90. Um, I absolutely love it. This palette I've been using for about two or three weeks. I kind of forgot about it. It was on the bottom stack of my palettes and I am loving the eyeshadow looks. I'm loving all the things. So I absolutely appreciate you guys so, so, so much. You have no idea um, for just taking the time to watch this. And I will see you tomorrow with CC Cream. So we'll see you tomorrow.